Hi guys, I just want to give my thoughts on Halloween 3 for 2015, but first I want to apologize to Halloween Man 87 I lost my temper yesterday, and when people lose their temper, they say things. I don't think sometimes, I just react. That's the way it is. When you hurt someone, they're not going to think, they're just going to react. It's like punching someone. If you punch them, they're not going to think about it and say, well, hmm, he punched me. They're going to just react and hit you back. So, that's what happened. But anyway, going to Halloween 3. People keep saying, well, it's not going to be like before. It's not going to be like the last time. Malik even said, it's not going to be so dark. It doesn't matter how dark it is. The point is, they're continuing with Rob Zombie's storyline. So I still don't really approve of it. Will I watch it? Yes. Will I buy the DVD or Blu-ray? Yes. Because I'm a completist. And that's really the only reason I'm buying it in the first place. It's still gonna have his story in it. They're just gonna tone it down a little bit. They're probably gonna cut back on the cursing. Michael's not gonna have a beard anymore. And he's probably not going to grunt anymore. I'll tell you what they're doing. Basically, what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you another Halloween movie without calling it Halloween 9. This is what they're doing. They're basically giving you another Halloween movie without having to go through all the bull crap. They're giving you another movie without having to call it Part 9 so that they won't have to have fans yell at them and say things about them so they're doing it in the sneaky way it's sort of like giving you part nine without actually calling it part nine let me go over it again michael's not gonna have a beard there's gonna be less nudity less cursing but other than that it's probably still gonna have scout compton they're probably gonna find a way to bring malcolm mcdowell back and if they can, they'll find a way to bring Brad Dourif back. Because the Rob Zombie storyline was making way too much money. And they know that. So basically, this is going to be like Rob Zombie's Halloween light. That's what's going on here. It's just a watered down, toned down version of Rob Zombie's Halloween. That's what this movie's gonna be. If you don't think otherwise, you're crazy. Probably gonna get Scout back, and she's probably gonna be healed. She's not gonna be that bipolar slut that she was in the second movie. It looks like she would hump anything that moved. Anything with legs, she would hump it. Oh, look at the table. The table got legs. I'm going to go over there and hump the table. Oh, she was just a bipolar slut that went on rants from time to time. I'm not going to the movies to see it. Because as far as I'm concerned, Resurrection was the last Halloween movie. I'm just watching this crap and holding out hope on the fact that one day we'll get a Halloween 9. And I advise you to do the same. Never give up. Hashtag Halloween 9. I approve this message.